we start working out teenage years, 20s, maybe, right? And um, things you get away with in your teens and your 20s, when you hit your 50s and 60s, you no longer get away with because there is age-related changes. Yeah. So, um, you know, the hit, the hit goal of carpet time, look how hard I worked out. Well, you know, the interns pointed out to me that every exercise phys student knows why that happens and how to avoid it. Right. Which is the blood has to shunt from your internal organs to the working muscles. If you don't do the warm up, your body is trying to do the muscular work and shunt the blood. So the first exercise is going to be very hard. You're going to get anaerobic prematurely. And if you don't do a cool down, the muscles are going to pull in that muscle. Your heart's going to race to try to pull the blood back up. And when it can't, your body's going to make you go horizontal so that the blood can flow. All of which can be avoided if you do a five or 10 minute or 15 or whatever low effort cardio workout and you do a similar cool down. I only noticed that in my 50s because prior, start working out right away, one set the failure, and the, and the workout leaves. And then when I got a little bit older, I realized, well, I'm feeling a little woozy. Geez, that was much harder than I thought it was going to be. So what happens is it's still a mistake, but the consequences are not ob obvious to you as a teenager and a, and a 20 year old. Yeah. And that's something you do, you do have in and recommend in the book is take that five yes, minutes at the beginning, take that five minutes at the end. At about like, you know, if you, if you regularly do cardio, maybe half the pace, half of your working pace is good enough. Mm. So if you regularly do, you know, 70 RPMs on a bike at a certain level, use the same level and maybe half the RPMs, like just something to literally warm up. Um, and then you find like the same numbers on the weights you do aren't as agonizing with the warm up as they were prior. 